I saw in the magazines recently a good little tip that you did actually, um, which is rare. Not rare for, for you to do anything good <laughs> in the magazines, that, but rare, <laughs> rare to, for me to read them. Um, so show us, show us it about how to convert um, a, a bait that a bream could get in its mouth to a bait that a bream can't get in its mouth. Well, again, I won't say a bream can't get one of these in the mouth, but depending on how hard or how big you want to make them, yep. will make it a lot more difficult for tench, bream, roach even, uh, which there are quite a number in here. We've got the cork balls and obviously these are just standard bottom baits. Right, straight uh, out of the bag bottom Straight bait. out of the bag. I, I would say that's a 14-ish. Yep. yep. And again, a bit of paste, activate paste, because obviously that's what we're fishing. That you just buy in a tackle well. shop that just comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, again. Um, it's in the freezer, isn't it, in the tackle shop? If you're yeah, yeah, to you've, buy got, it. you've got to keep it in the freezer. Yep. So this is the fresh paste that makes the boilies. Yeah. Right, like, okay. And again... Just push that into there, like that. that. in. And then me being uh, OCD'd as I am, I'll spend about three hours rolling one, so it's <laughs> perfectly round. But again, that is probably... 22 to 24 mil bait now. at least if not bigger let's put just put your hand out flat mate so everyone can see it so from that to that now i've done a lot of fishing in holland in france especially in holland the bream are a massive problem mm -hmm. if you had a 20 mil bait i found yeah. putting three on the hair still doesn't stop them because they can get it in their mm -hmm. gob mm -hmm. but if you would suddenly make it a 24 mil or bigger yeah because it won't actually fit in their mouth it will stay out there until a carp comes along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that is a great little tip. How long do you how long do you uh, boil them for? Uh, because in the magazine it was two minutes because right. the size of the actual bottom bait that we started with was bigger than that. Right. The bottom bait was an 18 mil. Right. So you only need a, obviously a thinner layer of paste. Yep. To make it the desired size that you want. Yep. That I would probably boil for three minutes because there's right. quite a lot of paste. Right. And just boil it on the bank. Yeah, yeah. And, and how and long do you leave it after it's after um, it's been boiled? An hour. Just to dry towel. on a towel. Okay. Uh, you don't even have to. You know, you just got to leave them to cool down. Right. I suppose if you're really in a rush, you could just throw them in cold water if you really. Yeah. You know, but uh, as a rule of thumb, an hour, and you you can you can you can cast them out quite easily. And they're ready to go. And that's so you you going from a getting plagued by nuisance fish to not getting plagued by nuisance. Yeah, fish yeah, in yeah. An hour. And again, you know, a little court ball which everybody carries in the tackle box. Yeah. Me mainly for zigs, because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really a pop up man, but. Again, what's that? That's a, that's a 10 mil court ball. Into yeah, 10 mil court ball. Yeah. And you suddenly turn it into a, a 16, you know, 16 to 18 mil. Right. Pop up. Yeah. And of course, it's a pop up that smells and tastes exactly the same as all exactly the other baits you're yeah, using. Yeah. 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 Um, and that I, one, how long did you boil that for? That two minutes. That two one. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. But again, you can get court balls of varying sizes. Yeah. I suppose six mil to twenty mil, can't it? Depending yeah. on how big you want to use your baits. But. Yeah, I'll tell you what I've found. I would used to use cork ball pop ups a lot, and the thinner the the lay you can get on them, obviously yeah. the more buoyant it is. Yeah, I mean that. I mean that's you can you can break that open and and tease bits off of it. Yeah, there's probably to. there's probably like a five mil, yeah, five six mil skin of paste around that ball. But what I found you can also make is you can make a bottom bait the same size as all the other baits you're using, but because it's got a cork ball in it, it's that much more buoyant. So yeah, it yeah. just sinks you with the weight of the hook. Yes. You can yeah. play around with yeah. it. So yeah. good little thing. So it, that yeah, does yeah. go off, doesn't it? You have to keep it, it in the freezer. It does go off. You have to keep it in the freezer. Well, right. it, it, so it will go off. Yeah. Um, and again, it's, it's, it, this one I use is just to match the, the bait that I'm using on this light, but yeah. you can get it in any flavour, I think. Yeah.